It's a scene that's become disturbingly familiar in Colorado. In May of 2011, a German shepherd with a bone in her mouth walked toward an eerie cop who was on an unrelated call. He shot the dog to death. Brittany Moore still has the shot burned into her memory. It's an awful experience. It's not even, it's the fact that Ava was shot, but it's the after effect. It's my three daughters. You know, I'm doing this for my three daughters. Moore's now part of this task force. Experts from several fields formulating the new training regimen required under Colorado's dog protection law passed just a few months ago. The first law of its kind in the United States and we're actually leading the country on this issue and we anticipate that uh, other police departments from around the country are going to be able to take advantage of this training as well. Moore's daughters witnessed the killing of their beloved dog, Ava. The kindest dog ever. The violence captured on a neighbor's cell phone. One of more than 40 law enforcement pet killings in the last five years. Colorado cops will have to learn to defuse the situation instead of shooting. It's been a long journey to get this into law, and now we sit here today to change the paradigm of the way law enforcement handles dog encounters. The eerie officer who shot Ava was cleared, despite the fact he'd killed another family pet just four years before. I think this is going to be the first step into bringing trust back into police officers to get them the training that they need. Training that won't bring her dog back, but might save many like her in the future.